What's up? Oh, get some morning, morning liquid here. Nice. One of those in case you get tired. day two had a couple of late arrivals last night Kevin and I were waiting until about 10 30 p.m. We had Hal Stockman Jason Boussat we were joined by Jonas Marcinko joining the Flying Cowboys crew to Oshkosh this year gonna be super fun we're making our way to Lincoln Nebraska for a little get-together a little soiree as it were but we have uh, about 470 ish nautical miles to cover today so let's do it let's have some fun man I think we already have an issue though, a mechanical issue, in case you can't tell. Oh no, what is going on? Whenever you see Hal in front of an engine, you know he's trying to give somebody some help. <laughs> Morning, Kevin. Hey, what's up, how you doing? Day two, where are we uh, Rollins, Wyoming? Woohoo! Jonas, welcome to the party. Thank you. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, hey we're on camera. <laughs> we're Robin. <laughs> I don't know this guy. Two bloggers. <laughs> we look so funny on cameras, but that's what it's about. So how, how we how it rolls. What's going on over here with Busat, bro? Oh, you know, it's another. Uh, Another road tax. <laughs> <laughs> Getting more done. Get more. Busad, is it the wastegate? <laughs> oh, out. CC Pocock, what are you wearing today? Hey, you remember this t-shirt? Yeah, that's a sweet t-shirt, man. <laughs> that's what it's all about. Flying Cowboy Store. Check it out. So Hal, inquiring minds want to know, what is this thing? It, it's not nuclear. It's just <laughs> just a uh, regular bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I want to go that route again. Man, that. Yeah, Playing Cowboy Store. On there, Robin. So what's going on? Well, Wyoming had a little hot water temps fresh motor so we're just lowering the rad a little bit to give her a little more air so it should be good sweet off to another great day <laughs> just I'm like waiting for speed wobbles <laughs> look at him <laughs> And it's charging when it's doing it. That was sweet, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the things we do while we're waiting for fuel. We're here so early, the FBO's not open, and we got three airplanes that need some gasoline.
sealed off real quick. Get back in. Pretty dang fun, dude. Looks like the wind's coming right out of that direction, so. Send it, huh? Yeah, just let's rock and roll it. Beautiful morning. So fun. Little stop on a bluff. Oh, there we go. There's a chunk of something. Do you want to give that to Hal? I don't need that part. Want to give it to Hal, then? Yeah, got a, got a souvenir. Yeah, souvenir. Oh. New, new keychain. Oh, it's bent bolt. Rats. The bolt's bent. <laughs> <laughs> the bolt's bed. Oh, how dang. It's even leaking oil. It's bleeding a little. Like a, a rod, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it broke a rod. Threw a rod through the case. Yep. Oh, well. Decided to make an unplanned stop. Well, he yeah. didn't decide to, but no, he just wanted to show uh, off his landing skills. The airplane made an unplanned stop. Oh, okay, I'm gonna ride with him. Out. He definitely knows what he's doing. Did the Bonanza? He can get well, it to Cheyenne. He'd rather someone that can do front row. Move right through the entire top there. He's probably working. Fresh. We're gonna go this way and go back. Yeah. Alright, so basically what's going on is uh, Hal called a couple of dudes, got a hold of Ty Firkin. And uh, we haven't heard for sure yet, but man, we have some cool friends if Ty's able to get out here and get him the parts that he needs. He's just gonna lace into it, start taking it apart. As luck have it, would have it, there's a pickup truck there with the keys in it next to the road where he had his engine failure. And, uh, <laughs> crazy. Man, what was the big guy? Yeah. So what's the plan, Hal? Uh, I'll, uh, see what, uh, I'm gonna start tearing it apart, and I'll, uh, have it all ready when, they, when I get an engine. Have it ready to lift off. That's the plan. Are we gonna see you at Oshkosh? Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we got enough cushion. I think we can make it to Oshkosh. Might even make it to New Holstein. <laughs> yeah. Rats. It's one of those heartbreaking moments where there's just nothing you can do as a pal. So we're just gonna get back in the air. Hal's got a new engine on the way. He's gonna start breaking it down and uh, we've all marked his location. We're gonna stay in communication. We've got cell phone service, or he's got, he's gonna have cell phone service. Everybody grabbed a little bit out of their airplanes, uh, water and supplies and stuff, but I bet you he'll have uh, an engine. He'll be bolting it on later tonight. <sighs> Holy cow. Ah, it's heartbreaking. You still know what to do. Other than we got to keep trucking, so still planning on leaking. Dang it. And we're leaving Hal behind. This is crazy. It's windy, man. This is 
zipping. There goes Busat. Palmer. See you later, Hal. Well, Sydney, Nebraska is a pretty cool place. We're here uh, getting some fuel and Boy, the airport couldn't be more friendly. I do feel a bad about how, but we've been in communication with, uh, with Ty Firkin, and I think he's gonna rescue him. We even got a, a plane wash going on around here. What in the heck what kind of fuel stop is this? I don't know how he does five hours that time. I've never seen a stop on the Where the heck are we, Trent? Lexington. We're in Lexington. Nebraska, this is the best place. They have the biggest twine ball in the world here in Lexington. Here in Lexington. Uh -huh. I oh, made that nice. up. Yeah. You made that up. <laughs> so you can tell people are kind of getting a little bit done. Watch your wing, right wing there. People are getting done. The group's starting to fracture. Like CC was kind of done. Went and landed at a different airport, wanted gas. We got this one more leg and then we're done for the day. So probably about an hour and a half-ish more flying and then we're good to go. How you feeling, bro? I feel good. There were some river bars for miles. Would have provided plenty of smiles. River, river runs for miles. For miles. Providing smiles for miles and miles. Here we are, another unplanned landing. We had a, uh, a fuel issue. We went through a whole tank of fuel in like uh, 40 minutes. Right? What happened, bro? I don't know. <laughs> vent's good. Yeah, the vent's good. Yeah. Try your other vent, vent. Maybe it's sucking. Maybe it's sucking. Good? It felt like I might have blown something out, but. Switch them. Seemed good. Right? Yeah, switching. I'm losing fuel somewhere though. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, let's look for clues. All right, we're gonna troubleshoot this issue. Dang it. Like the backcountry blue angels. Out of fuel, we don't know exactly what's going on. We're just gonna go into Lincoln. Okay, we made it to Lincoln to uh, no drama. Worked out good, everybody uh, flew well, did our little formation thing. Tower was very accommodating, so that worked out good. Now we're gonna relax. I guess this is where we're hanging out for the day. All right, we made it to Lincoln. I'm here with uh, Colin from that old, old Green Plane. Old Green Plane. Yeah. Old Green Plane. He's the one yeah. that put together this whole shindig for us. What's up, Kevin? What are you set thinking? up. I this mean, we got air sweet. conditioning, we've got, you name it, we got burgers, we got dogs, we got a keg of beer over in the corner. Oh my gosh. And we owe it to this guy because he hooked us up. Yeah. yeah. Very Above cool, and beyond. Thank like you. Saw, you're very well. Yep. You guys are way too gracious. So Thanks, if, you're, uh, if you need a good place to stop in Nebraska, oh, yeah. Lincoln, Nebraska is the place to do it. No it's a place to do it, right? It's a place yeah. to do it. Yeah. Come check out Silverhawk Aviation, Lincoln, Nebraska. Tell your friends. What do you think, guys? This, oh. is, this is awesome. Unexpected awesomeness. This is so cool. CC and I had so much fun flying together. The whole group, I mean, we have people at five feet to 7,500 feet all talking. It was great today. And yeah. then we show up here at Lincoln, a nine ship. I flew for 20 years in the military. I never did a nine ship up initial. We bring a nine ship up initial. Corey leading us all in, looking good. Pitch out, land, we taxi into here. Silverhawk Aviation opens the doors to their hangar, throws us a spread. This is great. Big thanks to them. Thanks to the Flying Cowboys. We'll see everybody at Oshkosh. Yeah. Draco. <laughs> I can't do it with the serious. I got it. <laughs> oh my god, it's Draco. 
Miss Haley. <laughs> All right, so we're here in Lincoln, Nebraska. It is hot. It's 100 degrees today and humid. Very and, humid. and Draco shows up. We're now off duty. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please, please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. We'll see you on the next one. How's it going, everybody? Amazing. Absolutely. Very cool. Nice little, nice little animal.